Hello again, Cal Guns and YouTube and Bill, also known as Ultra LNW and Cal Guns. And he has a YouTube channel called Brand Jury. He made me this stock whip a couple of days ago. And I've been doing a couple of videos on different cracks that uh, beginners should know how to do or that they could practice. Uh, this one's going to be the Cattleman's Crack. Uh, this one's fairly easy in theory, uh, but I see a lot of people struggling with it because of the timing. The timing is a little bit difficult. So, the Cattleman's is straight up, straight down, okay? So I start with my palm facing about where I want the whip to go and the whip behind me. So I throw it out and then I rotate my wrist so that the palm is still facing out and then I go forward again. So it looks like this, okay? Now, if you're beginning, there's a good chance that you're trying to crack it too early. So if you throw it up, wait for it. Okay, actually a good thing to practice is to just kind of like that. So if you go too early, it kind of cracks on the ground. Now there's a, there's a crack called the snake killer where it actually is supposed to crack on the ground, but it's a little bit different. The cattleman's should crack about, I don't know, eye height or so. And the longer that you wait, the higher it will be. Okay, so that cracked up there. That cracked about my face level. Okay, so palm forward, up, palm forward again. So you're rotating your the whip in your hand. Up, okay. Up, down. It's a pretty cool crack, and you see a lot of people um, putting out candles and stuff this way. Throw it up and down. So my grip on the whip is uh, the same one I use for every crack, and the the way I flow the whip is the same I do in every crack as well. So I'm throwing the front part of the whip. So if I coiled it, I'd be throwing the front, okay? On stock whips, that's important. On bullets, maybe not so much. But I throw that out there first, and then like that. Now you'll notice that if you do it fast enough, you can actually do uh, underhand flick at the same time, okay? But the wrist thing is the most important part of this. So palm forward, up, turn it in my hand, okay, then palm forward again. So watch again, palm forward, palms forward all the time. Anytime the whip is going forward, my palm will be forward. Now what that's doing is it's forcing the whip to tighten its roll. So it actually speeds up the flow or the speed of the whip of the cracker. So it shouldn't take that much energy. Now I can do this like this with my palm facing backwards, but it's not nearly as easy and it's not nearly as loud or accurate, okay? So palms forward, palms forward. Okay, so that's the Cattleman's. Um, if you, I, I don't know, I've never seen anybody hit themselves with this crack, but if you are, um, you're probably going too early or you're waiting too long. So your arm should be straight up, straight down. So I, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. But if it's not cracking, it's because you're not waiting long enough for the whip to get behind you. Okay? Wait for the whip and go. That's the Cattleman's. Thanks for watching.